What's going on everybody, LK here, back at it again with another video, and today some more Dragon Ball Fighters for y'all. So today, uh, I want to revisit something that I talked about a little bit earlier this season, uh, and I've revised my thoughts a little bit on it. I feel a little bit more complete about this. It's about sea assists. If you like the content I'm putting out, please consider liking this video or subscribing to the channel or do both. It does help the channel grow and I really would appreciate it. Thank you so much. So revisiting C assists. So as a reminder, in this game, in season three, they added two more assists. So now we have the A, B, and C assist. The B assist is just another move that the character has, but the C assists tend to have a bunch of special properties. Now I have noticed that C assists kind of have gotten like a bad rap from the more online scene because when a C assist hits, you get to combo off it right away. So for example, you can pick up really easy off C assist. Usually the main downside is that the cooldown is much longer. There are little ways to work around this, but for the most part, the cooldown is longer on the C assist than the A and B assist. Now again, some people go as far as calling the C assist outright scub, uh, scrubby, taking no skill. I've definitely gotten YouTube comments of people saying, man, I'm kind of, you know, tired of working so hard. I'm about to use three C assists and mess everybody up with my no skill team. And I definitely think that's not the right way of thinking about it. So as a quick review on the assist. So in this game, there are many types of assists in the game. You have things like barriers, DPs, beams, moves that track, kicks and lariats. You have all sorts of assists in this game. Uh, last month or a couple months ago, I think in April, uh, I pretty much noted a pattern in C assists in that there are only three real type of C assists in the game. Anti-air assists, beams, and things that functionally work as beams because they travel full screen and block stun assists. So for instance here we have base Goku with SSJ Vegeta C assist. We're ready to super dash and call his anti-air assist here. So again as you can see here uh, there's not really that much frame advantage when you block it on the ground but if you block it in the air there will be much much more. Significantly more. You have enough time to do a mix up. You could go for a cross up. You could do it for all types of things, and it will always drag them to the ground like that. Now, similarly, we have beams. So, uh, you have beams and C assists. They are basically the same, except the beam will hit confirm for you, like this. So, if the beam hits, you can run up and get a combo. You have a lot of time to convert off this. Now, on block, you have a significant amount of blocks on. Again, it is really easy to set up mix ups with these assists. So that's what you got overall. Uh, again, a thing that I said about CSS is, is that it's a way for you to kind of complete a team build without having to pick a specific character to do it. Uh, notice that these three types of assists, block stun, beam, and anti-air are all things that have won major, major, major events in Dragon Ball. Uh, DP, aka anti-air, and block stun won with the world tour in season one, double beams won in season two. Block stun characters like Kibu are always present in the game. Uh, base Goku became popular in season two. Yamcha, of course, super popular in season one. So they made sure that every character had at least one of these things available so that you could use them and build a complete team without having to play specific characters. It's a very important point. Now, more recently, uh, I've been thinking that the beam C assist is actually the weakest of the three recently. Uh, I do know there are examples of beam assist that like vacuum you so you can get like the four way in the corner off level threes. I think Gotenks is one if I recall correctly. But uh, again, I've been thinking recently that the C B uh, beam assist is the weakest of the three. Now, why is that? So. For instance, uh, beams are pretty uh, popular in the game in general. Again, as I said before, uh, they pretty much define Season 2 double beams like GT, SSJ Goku, stuff like that. Define Season 2 Dragon Ball Fighters. So a lot of common things you do with beams is to control space like this, right? You will do something like move and beam, special move and beam. Here's another thing you could do, special move and beam. Uh, you could do kick and beam. Of course, I'm just making stuff up, right? Kick and beam. Okay, that's just your normal beam. Now, if you hit them with the C, the C assist like that, you get a combo, of course. But what about when you're moving and trying to use a C assist, right? You're basically hoping your opponent gets hit. And a lot of the common neutral 
builds that you would use so like ways you would move around the screen with assists uh you're not really assuming your opponent's getting hit you're kind of hoping they'll block so you'll get your turn so uh although the although the block stun is really good on something like this you know it's pretty standard uh if you do a movement and your opponent avoids it now you actually have to deal with the cooldown so for instance right if you jump like this and i just jump like that you have to wait much longer to get this assist back than your normal beam your normal beam will be faster of course so in this case okay he takes a little bit but once he starts coming back he starts coming back really really quickly now of course you're going to say well that's the case with all the c assists so why do you feel that way specifically with the beam c assist uh the other c assists they have really really specific functions so that when you use them they're going to do their purpose as opposed to the beam where you're mostly like you're using it like a beam but if it misses then it kind of sucks and you have to just play without it for a long time so for example in the case of a c assist aka a block stun assist uh when you catch them blocking you're going to use it so i came up with this quick string with uh the trunk c assist let me try to block it a couple times spoilers i'm not going to be able to block this at all I'll do my best though. Let's do a couple more attempts. So the main point of course being that you will be able to use it immediately for the thing you want it for. Anti-air assists are similar, right? So when you want to use them, for example, super dash, call your DP assist, you quite literally just do it when they're in the spot that you want to use it, the assist judge does its job, and you're in or you hit them. So that's pretty much it, just something to keep in mind when building your team. Of course, again, the C assist will complete your team uh, without you having to necessarily play a specific character. You still have to think about what assist the character has, how to put everything together, stuff like that, but it does help the overall build of your team in case you're missing something like Blockstone and you want it, or like an anti-air if you want it. The more I have been playing against the C type assist uh, of Beam specifically, the more I've kind of felt like I can kind of just lame this out. Uh, so I have kind of been floating this thought for a while. Let me know what you guys think. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in a comment section below. Like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll see you next time.